Have you ever wondered what it means when the Bible says, the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and those who hear will live? This is the special, direct, and effectual call of the Spirit in the elect of God. A call that awakens the conscience, breaks the heart, convinces the judgment, opens the eye of the soul, and pours a new and alarming sound upon the once deaf ear. This divine intervention transforms, leading to profound realizations. The sinner sees himself as lost and undone, without pardon, righteousness, acceptance, a God, a Savior, or even hope. In this dreadful condition he cries out, What shall I do to be saved? This is a desperate plea echoing within the soul, a cry born out of an acute awareness of one's wretchedness and need for redemption. But blessed be God, no poor soul that ever uttered such language, prompted by such feelings, ever died in despair. But what happens next? How does one respond to this call? The Spirit in its wisdom guides the sinner to the foot of the cross, where Jesus, the Savior, awaits. Wounded, bleeding, dying, yet with arms outstretched in an eternal embrace. He speaks, his words a balm to the weary soul. Come unto me, you who labor, you who are burdened, and I will give you rest. Look unto me, and be saved. His invitation is extended to the lost, the guilty, the poor, the naked. He promises to save, cleanse, enrich, raise, and clothe them. And the sinner, in his profound despair, hears this call and responds with faith, Lord, I believe, you are just the Savior that I need. And thus, in this act of surrender and acceptance, the sinner becomes a child of God, a testament to the enduring promise that, the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and those who hear will live.